Hey guys, in case you didn't know, Impulse RC has released a new frame. It is called the Reverb. The Reverb was designed by and with Chad Nowak and the guys at Impulse RC. Um, I've been flying this frame or and this setup for about a month and a half, and I really like it. Um, so I wanted to run through what I like about the frame, uh, just to help anyone else that may have questions. So. The first thing that I noticed right off bat was the prop line is being the CG. It's closer to the CG. Uh, what that does is help with performance and it helps with tuning. It makes things a little bit easier to tune. Um, helps with the ba uh, you know the pitch access and the bounce back issue that some people have. Um, so that's just my opinion. Uh, it does help from from what I've flown. Uh, secondly, the biggest the biggest difference I saw was when I was putting this frame together, um, the stiffness of this entire frame is ridiculous. Um, it is a lot stiffer than an alien, uh, and with that, the less flex you have, the flex the flex in the frame, the more efficient things are going to work. The easier it's going to be able to tune. Um, so those are really the two big differences in terms of performance I found. Um, the other thing that I like about this is more, I guess, cosmetic, but the FPV mounting system. Um, this is ridiculously easy to set up. Uh, it fits more modern day cameras, modern day cameras, uh, whereas the Alien really only fit the HS77 or HS1177 camera, where you had to add in a, uh, you know, a kind of an accessory to to, to mount the camera onto the alien, whereas this, you, it's, it's simple, just a plug and play system, two screws hold the camera in place, uh, really simplistic and it works really well. So um, that's another thing that I love about this frame. Um, what else? The flight characteristics of this frame is slightly different than the alien, the five inch alien. Um, it's a little bit more uh, floaty in the air, I guess is the word to use. Um, you're, you're still aggressive, but it floats a little bit more. It hangs a little bit more in the air. That's just why I personally found um, with the setup, the setup I'm running. It, it does hang in the air a bit more, and I could definitely tell. Um, so so that's, that's essentially the things I like about it. Um, the other thing to mention is it is compact. This is designed for modern day components, um, whereas the Alien it's a great frame, but it, it was you know two years ago that was developed, and at that point in time, the components fit just uh, just snug, I guess. Um, whereas this, obviously, we have progressed in the FPV industry, and our components have gotten a lot smaller. Um, so this takes advantage of that. Uh, you you just have enough space for the essentials, um, as you could kind of see. Um, so so. I guess there's no wasted space. It, it's it's compact, uh, and with that, it's very durable. Um, I have not uh, broken this frame. I've I've been I don't know flying it for a month and a half, like I said, and uh, I've not bro bro broken anything on this frame um, as of yet. Um, this is a final prototype on my pro or this is the final production version on my prototype. I haven't broke I haven't broken any parts, uh, so. All that being said, um, it's a really good frame and I would give it a shot. The price point is really compelling for this. I think the base with that, uh, I think the base is about 82 bucks in, um, in US. So it's really compelling price. You're, you're getting a lot of quality for the amount of money you're spending. So um, this is why I like this frame. This is kind of why uh, it has become my go-to setup. Um, so just want to give you my thoughts on this and what I like about it. Um, so hopefully it helps. See ya.